Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty pattern. Look at this. This is a really pretty pattern. Now you can do it as a blanket like this in a long length or you can do it as I'm doing it as a scarf and I've got one, two, three boxes. I've got three sets of the boxes. Now each box is a set of 12 stitches. So the stitch count for this is 12 and then add another five stitches at the end of your chain. So do as many sets of 12 as you want and then you'll add an extra five. Now I'm still working on this as a scarf but you can do this in a big long length and do it as a blanket. I'll turn it that way. You can see how pretty it would turn out as a blanket as well. It's really pretty. Now, it doesn't matter what yarn you use. Use the hook size. It tells you on your yarn. Now, if you want it so that it's not got such an open lace pattern, you can use a smaller hook than it says. So for this pattern, the stitch count is 12 plus an extra 5 stitches. Do it in sets of 12 and then you'll add an, add an extra 5 stitches at the end. Now if you don't want big gaps, if you don't, if you don't want big gaps in your work, if you don't want them to be too big, then use a half size smaller hook than it tells you on your yarn. Now this yarn tells me I should use a four and a half, but I'm going to use a size of four, just so that it's not too open. If you want it nice and lacy, then that's fine. So we're going to do our chain in sets of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now do as many sets of twelve as you want. I'm just going to do two. I'm just going to show you a little sample of this. So I've done two sets of twelve. I'm just going to do a sample. You can do this for a blanket and make it as big as you want. Now I'm going to add an extra five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. So we're going to be using a UK treble crochet and a UK double treble crochet stitch. If you're in the USA that'll be a double and a treble for you. You're going to go into the fourth stitch in the hook count one, two, three and four. You're going to put one treble crochet all the way along. Got my yarn caught up there. So one into each stitch. Now you can write this down as you're going along if you want to have it written down. So I've done one into each stitch. I've got one left and that's my foundation row, row one. Now that's the foundation row done and that's row one. Now there's five rows. Now if you want you can write them down if you want. So we've done one UK treble into each stitch from the fourth stitch in. You're going to chain three. One, two, three and turn your work. Now this is round two. So into the next stitch put one treble crochet and one into the next stitch. So you'll have three stitches in between each of your blocks. Now what you're going to do is, so we're going to chain three next. Now you can write these down. So row two chain three and then do two more treble crochets. Chain three, one, two, three and we're going to skip 
the next stitch and into the next one you're going to put a double treble crochet if you're in the UK if you're in the USA this is a treble crochet for you so yarn over twice skip one stitch and do your double treble one two and three you're going to skip one stitch and do another one of those double trebles we need four so skip a stitch yarn over twice and do your double treble yarn over through yarn over through and yarn over and through skip a stitch that's just got two skip one this is our third one yarn over twice skip a stitch and do your fourth one chain three one two three skip a stitch and do a treble crochet so skip one and do a treble crochet that's a double if you're in the USA so we're going to do another two trebles so we've got a little set of three so yarn over treble crochet into the next stitch yarn over treble crochet into the next stitch then we'll start our next block so in between the blocks you've got three stitches you'll have three stitches at the end and you'll have at the beginning and you'll have three stitches at the end so we're going to do row two of the next block so chain three one two three skip one and do a double treble yarn around twice skip one and do that long stitch yarn around twice that's it's got one skip one and do the second one yarn around twice skip one we'll do the third one yarn around twice skip one and we're going to do the fourth one this is row two and you can write it down if you want chain three one two three skip one stitch and you should have three left and we're going to put a treble crochet into the last three stitches so you'll skip a stitch and do your three treble crochets along just normal treble so it's a double in the USA and at the end into the top of your chain put your last stitch you're going to chain three one two three and turn now this is row three you're going to put a treble crochet into the next stitch and a treble crochet into the next stitch so you've got your set of three at the beginning you always have a set of three at the beginning so for row three you're going to chain three one two three so you're going to skip the chain and into the top of the next those four big stitches you're going to put a UK double crochet and that's a single crochet if you're in the USA so into the next four stitches skip that chain and you're going to do a double crochet into the top of that tall one one into the next one that's two one into the next one that's three and one into the next one that's four you're going to chain three one two three skip the chain and you've got your three trebles we're going to do our treble crochets again on top of these so in this pattern what you'll have you'll have three treble crochets at the beginning three to split this box in this box three to split your boxes and you'll have three at the end it's those constant three treble crochets that will split up each of your boxes your little pattern is made up of one two three and four rows 
in this pattern and your three treble crochets will split it up. So I'll move that back off to the side. So we're doing a chain of three to get over to these three stitches. Yarn over and you're going to put a treble crochet in the top of these three stitches. One into each stitch and one into that one. And if you're asking, my hooks are called Lantern Moon. The lantern is made of ebony wood. They're beautiful. I'll leave a link under the video. So we're going to do the next pattern in the box, the next box pattern. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip that chain and into the top of these four large stitches you're going to put a UK double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA. So that'll be four. Put one into each stitch. Straight into the top of the stitch. One, two, three, and four. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip the chain and you'll do three treble crochets. At the end, you'll do that along your length. So one, one into the next one, and one into the top of that chain of three there. So that's row three done. We're going to move on to row four. Chain three, one, two, and three, and turn your work. So we're going to repeat row three. For row four. So you've done your chain, that's your first stitch. You're going to do a treble crochet into the next two stitches. So one into that one and one into that one. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three. Skip over to your, skip your chain and put a UK double crochet into the next four stitches. So skip that chain and you'll put one into that stitch, one into that one, that's two, one into the next one is three, and one into the next one is four. Chain three, one, two, three. We're nearly finished our little box. Skip the chain and put one treble crochet into the next three stitches. This is the panel that splits up your boxes. And three. Now we'll move on to the next section. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip the chain and put our UK double crochet into the next four stitches. So skip that chain and put one, two, three and four and we're nearly finished with row four we're going to chain three one two three skip the chain and you'll do your three treble crochets on the end uk trebles that's usa double crochets one two and one into the top of that chain of three to chain three, one, two, three, and turn. And we're going to do row five. So we're on our column of threes. So a treble crochet into the next one and one into the next one. So now we're going to repeat row two. So for row five, You've done your three treble, tre you've done your three treble crochets. You're going to chain one, only one, and into these four stitches, you're going to put a double treble. So yarn over twice into the top of the first stitch. Skip the chain, chain one, yarn over twice, and go into the next stitch. 
do your UK double treble. Chain one, so we've got two done. That's three. Chain one, remember the chain ones at the top of this box. Yarn over twice and into the next stitch. Chain one. And you're going to put a treble crochet into the next three. Skip the chain. And one treble crochet into the next three stitches. Chain one. Skip the chain. And you're going to put a double treble into each stitch with a chain one in between. Chain one, yarn over twice, through your stitch, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Chain one, yarn over twice, into the next one, this is number three. Chain one, yarn over twice and in to number four. Chain one. Skip that chain and do your three treble crochets at the end. These are double crochets if you're in the USA. And one into the top of that chain at the end. And that's you done your five rows. Now you're going to go back to row one and do one treble crochet into each stitch. So chain three. One, two, three. This is going to start your next set of boxes. So when you've made your blanket as big as you want, you'll finish with one row of treble crochets like you have on the bottom. So one into each stitch along. So this is back to row one, put one. Into the top of that long stitch, put one, put one into this chain space or into the stitch, one into the next one, all the way along. Remember and put one in your chain one stitch there, the little chain ones you've got in between. And that's your little pattern done. So that one is row one, you'll go to row two. So you'll just rewind the video and you'll do row two, row three, row four and then row five. And that's your next one done. So once you've done as many as you want, you'll finish on that row one. You'll do row one here to finish it off. And then you'll do row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. Then you'll do row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll just keep repeating those. You'll keep doing these 5 rows for as long as you want. And your last row to complete your edge will be one row of treble crochets. These are double crochets if you're in the USA. And remember and do one into that chain one there. On that last row, we did a chain one and a big long double treble chain one. So remember and put a stitch into that chain one, not under it. Try and go through the stitch. It keeps it all nice and neat. One into each of your stitches. And that's row one again. We're back to row one. But it's row one that you'll do to finish your work once you've completed your project to the size that you want. And that's what you're going to get. That is going to finish your pattern. And I'll show you my larger one. This is my longer one, and this is what you get. 
So you'll do sets of 12 and then add an extra 5 stitches in your pattern count and that'll give you enough stitches to have your 3 in between your boxes. So row 1 is your single, row 1 is your treble crochet row, then you've got row 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then you'll do row 1 again which is that whole treble crochet row and that's a double crochet if you're in the USA. So just rewind the video and go from row 1 to row 5, row 1 to row 5, row 1 to row 5 and you'll finish when you get away up to the top on my lovely scarf. I went and ripped a couple of my stitches out. You'll finish on row 1 to complete your work. And that is how you do this beautiful stitch. Now, this is called different things. This is just called a, a pineapple. It falls into the pineapple family. It's fillet crochet as well. Some people call this a spider stitch. Some people just call it the big box, a flower stitch. In lots of crochet pattern books and stitch books, it might just be called something different. In my book, it goes under grid, pineapple and fan patterns in the books that I have. One of the books I have, it's called the Spider Stitch. One of the other ones that I have, it's called a Big Box Flower. But look at that. It's not really what you would call a spider. It maybe looked like a bit of a spider. But that's the way it is. You've got round one. That's round two. Round three, round four, and you've got round five, and back to round one. So give it a try. Take your time with it. Get your hook and your yarn. If you don't want big spaces, use a half size hook smaller than your yarn tells you. Then do row sets of 12, add an extra five stitches, and then start off into the fourth stitch in your chain and work the pattern from row one to row five, row one to row five. Take your time, play the video as you're crocheting along and once you've got the hang of this you will be able to follow it and by all means if you want write it down. You can write it down whatever way that you will understand row one, two, three, four and five. You can then just repeat it again or just keep rewinding the video till you get the hang of it. It's a beautiful pattern. It's really pretty in this variegated yarn. This is Aurora. This is Wendy Aurora, this yarn. But you can use any yarn you want. But I will recommend use a half size smaller than what your yarn label tells you this time. And that way it won't you won't have big if you want big holes like this, you can use a bigger hook. If you want this to be really lacy, you can use a bigger hook. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. It doesn't cost any money, so it's free to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free for anyone to subscribe. It just gives me a better chance to be seen on YouTube when people subscribe to your channel. So once again, thank you for watching and until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.